Welcome to our new podcast on relationships and social dynamics. Relationships are an integral part of our lives, and they shape who we are as individuals. Whether it's romantic relationships, friendships, or family ties, we all want to build meaningful connections with others. Our podcast is all about exploring the complexities of relationships and providing you with valuable insights and tips to navigate them successfully. We'll discuss topics such as effective communication, healthy boundaries, emotional intelligence, and the art of active listening. We'll also dive into the dating scene, exploring strategies for finding and building lasting relationships. But relationships are not just about romance, they're also about building social connections and developing strong bonds with the people around us. Join us as we explore the fascinating and emotional world of relationships and social dynamics. We hope our podcast will inspire you to build deeper connections with the people in your life and create a more fulfilling and loving existence. Let's get started. Chapter 1, The Power of Communication, Effective Communication is an essential ingredient for healthy relationships, whether they are romantic, friendly, or professional. Communication involves not only speaking and listening but also nonverbal cues such as body language and tone of voice. Poor communication can lead to misunderstandings, conflicts, and even the breakdown of relationships. In this chapter, we will explore the power of communication and provide tips for improving your communication skills. 1. The importance of listening Communication is a two-way street, and listening is just as important as speaking. It is important to actively listen to others when they are speaking and give them your full attention. This means avoiding distractions such as phones or other devices and focusing on what the other person is saying. Ask clarifying questions to make sure you understand their perspective and show that you are interested in what they have to say. 2. Honesty and Authenticity Honesty is the foundation of any healthy relationship. It is important to be honest with yourself and others about your feelings, needs, and expectations. Authenticity is also important, don't try to be someone you are not, as this will only lead to frustration and disappointment in the long run. Be yourself and communicate your true thoughts and feelings respectfully and honestly. 3. Tone and body language Tone of voice and body language are important components of communication that can sometimes convey more than words alone. Pay attention to your tone of voice, and try to speak calmly and respectfully. Body language is also important, as it can convey interest, respect, and attentiveness. Make eye contact, avoid crossing your arms, and try to adopt an open and receptive posture. 4. Active listening and empathy Active listening involves more than just hearing what someone else is saying. It also involves understanding and empathizing with their perspective. Try to put yourself in the other person's shoes and see things from their point of view. This can help to build empathy and understanding, and can ultimately lead to more productive and fulfilling relationships. 5. Conflict Resolution Conflicts are a natural part of any relationship, but how they are resolved is what matters. Communication is key when it comes to resolving conflicts healthily and productively. Try to approach conflicts with an open mind, actively listen to the other person's perspective, and work together to find a solution that works for everyone. Remember that compromise is often necessary to find a mutually beneficial solution. In conclusion, Effective communication is crucial for healthy and fulfilling relationships. By actively listening, being honest and authentic, paying attention to tone and body language, practicing empathy, and constructively resolving conflicts, you can improve your communication skills and build stronger relationships with others. 
Chapter 2, Navigating the Dating Scene Dating can be a tricky and overwhelming experience, especially in today's fast-paced world where online dating has become increasingly popular. In this chapter, we will explore the dating scene and provide tips for finding and building meaningful relationships. Firstly, it's important to understand what you're looking for in a relationship. Are you looking for a casual fling or a long-term commitment? Once you have identified what you want, it will be easier to find potential partners who share the same goals and values as you. When it comes to finding potential partners, online dating apps and websites have made it easier than ever to connect with others. However, it's important to be cautious and take the necessary steps to ensure your safety. This includes researching the person before meeting them in person, meeting in a public place, and trusting your instincts if something doesn't feel right. Once you have found someone you're interested in, it's important to communicate openly and honestly with them. This includes being clear about your intentions and expectations, as well as listening actively to their needs and wants. Communication is key to building a strong foundation for a healthy relationship. In any relationship, it's important to have boundaries and respect each other's space and individuality. This means allowing each other to pursue hobbies and interests outside of the relationship and understanding that you don't have to do everything together. Another important aspect of building a meaningful relationship is working through conflicts and disagreements. No relationship is perfect, and conflicts are bound to arise. It's important to approach these conflicts with a willingness to listen and understand the other person's perspective and to work together to find a solution that works for both parties. Finally, it's important to prioritize self-care and personal growth in any relationship. This means taking time for yourself, pursuing your own goals and interests, and making sure that you are happy and fulfilled outside of the relationship. By following these tips, you can navigate the dating scene with confidence and find meaningful and fulfilling relationships. Chapter 3, Building and Maintaining Healthy Relationships Building and maintaining healthy relationships can be a challenging task, especially when you consider the many variables involved, such as different personalities, communication styles, and life experiences. However, with the right strategies and mindset, it is possible to build strong, long-lasting relationships that enrich our lives and bring us happiness and fulfillment. In this chapter, we'll explore some key strategies for building and maintaining healthy relationships, including 1. Effective communication. Communication is the foundation of any healthy relationship. It's important to be open and honest with your partner, express your feelings and needs clearly, and listen actively to their perspective. By improving your communication skills, you can avoid misunderstandings and conflicts, and build a deeper, more meaningful connection with your partner. 2. Respect and Empathy Respect and empathy are essential for building healthy relationships. It's important to value your partner's opinions and feelings, even if you don't always agree with them. Try to put yourself in their shoes and see things from their perspective. This can help you develop a deeper understanding and appreciation for their unique qualities and strengths. 3. Trust and Honesty Trust and honesty are the building blocks of a healthy relationship. It's important to be truthful with your partner, even when it's difficult, and to honor your commitments and promises. When you trust your partner, you feel secure and confident in the relationship, which can help you build a strong foundation for the future. 4. Conflict Resolution No relationship is without its challenges and conflicts. However, 
It's important to approach conflicts with a positive mindset and to work together with your partner to find a resolution that works for both of you. By developing effective conflict resolution skills, you can navigate disagreements and challenges constructively, and build a stronger, more resilient relationship as a result. 5. Shared Values and Goals Shared values and goals are key to building a long-term, fulfilling relationship. It's important to find a partner who shares your core beliefs and values and to work together to create a shared vision for the future. By aligning your values and goals, you can create a sense of purpose and direction in your relationship, and work towards a common goal that brings you both happiness and fulfillment. Overall, Building and maintaining healthy relationships requires effort, commitment, and a willingness to learn and grow together. By adopting these key strategies and mindset, you can create a relationship that is strong, fulfilling, and built to last. Chapter 4 comma The Art of Active Listening The Art of Active Listening how to Listen Effectively and Empathetically is a chapter that focuses on the importance of active listening in relationships and social dynamics. Active listening involves fully focusing on the speaker and seeking to understand their perspective, rather than simply waiting for a turn to talk. In this chapter, we will discuss the benefits of active listening, as well as strategies for how to become a more effective and empathetic listener. To begin, we will explore the benefits of active listening. One of the main benefits is that it helps to build stronger relationships. When we actively listen to others, they feel heard and understood, which can foster trust and deeper connections. Additionally, active listening can improve our communication skills, as it helps us to better understand others and communicate our thoughts and feelings more effectively. Next, we will discuss strategies for becoming a more effective and empathetic listener. One key strategy is to fully focus on the speaker and avoid distractions, such as checking our phone or thinking about what we want to say next. Additionally, we can use nonverbal cues such as nodding and maintaining eye contact, to show the speaker that we are engaged in the conversation. Asking open-ended questions and summarizing what the speaker has said can also demonstrate that we are actively listening and seeking to understand their perspective. We will also explore the concept of empathy, which is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Active listening can help to foster empathy, as it allows us to better understand the speaker's perspective and emotions. We will discuss strategies for developing empathy, such as putting ourselves in the other person's shoes and trying to imagine how they are feeling. Finally, we will discuss common barriers to effective listening, such as biases and assumptions, and strategies for overcoming these barriers. We will also provide examples of situations where active listening can be particularly important, such as in conflict resolution and building trust in professional relationships. Overall, the chapter on the art of active listening will provide valuable insights and strategies for becoming a more effective and empathetic listener in relationships and social dynamics. By mastering the art of active listening, we can build stronger connections with others and improve our communication skills. Chapter 5, Overcoming Conflict Conflict is an inevitable part of any relationship, whether it be with friends, family members, romantic partners, or co-workers. However, it's not the conflict itself that determines the outcome of the relationship, but rather how it's handled. In this chapter, We'll explore some tips and strategies for overcoming conflict and building stronger relationships. The first step in resolving conflict is to approach it with a mindset of curiosity and openness. Rather than immediately jumping to conclusions or becoming defensive, 
try to understand the other person's perspective and listen to their point of view. Ask questions to clarify their position and try to empathize with their feelings. Another important aspect of overcoming conflict is avoiding personal attacks or blame. Instead of focusing on what the other person did wrong, focus on the issue at hand and work together to find a solution. This means using I statements instead of you statements, and refraining from making sweeping generalizations or assumptions about the other person. It's also important to recognize that conflict can be an opportunity for growth and learning. By working through disagreements respectfully and constructively, you can strengthen your relationship and build greater trust and intimacy with the other person. Some other strategies for overcoming conflict include taking a break if emotions are running high, practicing active listening, and brainstorming potential solutions together. Remember, the goal should always be to find a mutually satisfactory resolution that works for both parties. In addition to these general tips, some specific techniques can be helpful in certain situations. For example, the broken record technique involves calmly and assertively repeating your position or request until it's heard and acknowledged. The timeout technique involves agreeing to take a break from the conversation if things become too heated, with a commitment to return to the discussion at a later time. Ultimately, the key to overcoming conflict and building strong relationships is to approach disagreements with a mindset of respect, empathy, and open-mindedness. With practice and patience, Anyone can learn to navigate conflict constructively and positively, leading to deeper and more fulfilling relationships with the people they care about. Chapter 6, The Psychology of Attraction. In this chapter, we will explore the complex and fascinating topic of attraction and what draws us to others. Attraction is a multifaceted phenomenon that is influenced by a variety of factors including physical appearance, personality traits, values, and shared experiences. Understanding the psychology of attraction can help us to better navigate the dating scene and build meaningful relationships. Physical appearance is often the first thing that we notice about someone and can have a significant impact on our initial attraction to them. Research has shown that symmetry, facial proportions, and other physical characteristics can influence our perception of a person's attractiveness. However, it is important to note that beauty is subjective, and what one person finds attractive may not be the same for another. Personality traits are another important factor in attraction. We are often drawn to people who share similar values and interests as us. For example, if you are passionate about fitness, you may be more attracted to someone who also values physical health and fitness. Additionally, research has shown that certain personality traits, such as kindness, humor, and intelligence, can be particularly attractive to others. Shared experiences can also play a role in attraction. When we have positive experiences with someone, such as shared hobbies or memorable moments, we are more likely to feel a sense of connection and attraction to them. This is why it is often easier to develop feelings for someone whom we have spent time with and have shared experiences with. It is also important to note that attraction is not always rational or predictable. Sometimes, we may feel drawn to someone for reasons that we can't fully explain or understand. This can be especially true for experiences such as love at first sight, where there is an immediate and intense attraction to someone. Understanding the psychology of attraction can help us to better navigate the dating scene and build meaningful relationships. By focusing on building connections based on shared values, interests, and experiences we can create more fulfilling relationships that are built to last. Additionally, 
By being open-minded and flexible in our expectations, we may be surprised by the people we find ourselves attracted to and form deep connections with. Chapter 7, The Importance of Boundaries, In this chapter, we could explore the concept of boundaries and their importance in maintaining healthy relationships. We could discuss the different types of boundaries, such as physical, emotional, and mental, and how they can be set and maintained. The chapter could begin by defining what boundaries are and why they are important in relationships. We could explore how boundaries can help individuals protect their well-being, avoid unhealthy relationships, and maintain a sense of autonomy and self-respect. Next, we could provide tips and strategies for setting boundaries in relationships. This could include identifying personal values and limits, communicating effectively with others, and being assertive in enforcing boundaries. We could also discuss some of the common challenges that individuals may face when setting and maintaining boundaries, such as guilt, fear of conflict, or the pressure to please others. We could guide how to overcome these obstacles and maintain healthy boundaries even in difficult situations. Finally, we could explore the benefits of healthy boundaries in relationships, such as improved communication increased trust and respect, and a stronger sense of self-awareness and personal growth. Throughout the chapter, we could use real-life examples and anecdotes to illustrate the importance and impact of healthy boundaries in relationships. By the end of the chapter, readers should have a solid understanding of what boundaries are, how to set and maintain them and why they are essential for building and maintaining healthy relationships. Chapter 8, Breaking the Ice, Tips for Meeting New People and Building Social Connections 1. The Benefits of Social Connections This chapter could explore the importance of social connections and the benefits they bring, such as increased happiness, reduced stress, and improved mental health. Two. Overcoming shyness, many people struggle with shyness or social anxiety, which can make it difficult to meet new people. This chapter could provide tips and strategies for overcoming shyness and building confidence in social situations. 3. The Power of Networking Networking is an important skill in both personal and professional life. This chapter could provide insights and advice on how to build a strong network of contacts and make valuable connections. 4. Making friends as an adult. Making friends can be challenging as an adult, especially if you're in a new city or don't have many opportunities to meet new people. This chapter could provide tips for making friends as an adult, including joining social groups or volunteering. 5. Small Talk Skills Small talk is an important part of building social connections, but many people struggle with it. This chapter could provide tips for making small talk, such as asking open-ended questions and finding common interests. 6. The Role of Technology in Social Connections Technology has changed the way we connect with others from social media to online dating. This chapter could explore how technology is changing the social landscape and provide insights on how to use it effectively to build social connections. 7. Building relationships with different types of people. People have different personalities, interests, and communication styles, which can make it challenging to build strong relationships with everyone. This chapter could provide strategies for building relationships with different types of people, including introverts, extroverts, and those with different cultural backgrounds. Chapter 9, Emotional Intelligence In this chapter, you could explore the concept of emotional intelligence and how it relates to social dynamics and relationships. 
Emotional intelligence refers to the ability to identify and understand one's own emotions and the emotions of others and to use this understanding to navigate social situations effectively. You could discuss the importance of emotional intelligence in building and maintaining healthy relationships, and provide insights and tips for developing emotional intelligence. This could include exercises for improving self-awareness and empathy, as well as strategies for managing emotions in high-pressure social situations. You could also discuss the relationship between emotional intelligence and other important social skills, such as active listening, conflict resolution, and effective communication. By understanding the role of emotional intelligence in social dynamics, Individuals can develop stronger social connections and build more fulfilling relationships. Chapter 10, Love Languages. In this chapter, we could explore the concept of love languages and how they play a crucial role in building and maintaining strong relationships. We would discuss the five love languages, words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch, and how they express different aspects of love and appreciation. The chapter will delve into how to identify your love language as well as the love languages of your partner or loved ones. We would discuss the importance of understanding each other's love languages and how it can help improve communication and strengthen the relationship. Additionally, the chapter could provide practical tips and examples on how to speak the love language of your partner or loved ones. We would emphasize the importance of consistency and genuine effort in expressing love through the language that resonates most with your partner. Furthermore, we could discuss the potential challenges that arise when partners or loved ones have different love languages and offer strategies for bridging the gap and finding common ground. Ultimately, the goal of this chapter would be to help readers develop a deeper understanding of themselves and their loved ones and to equip them with practical tools for building strong and meaningful relationships based on mutual love and appreciation. In conclusion, relationships, and social dynamics are essential parts of our lives, and they can greatly impact our happiness and well-being. In this podcast, we explored various topics related to building and maintaining healthy relationships, including effective communication, active listening, setting healthy boundaries, resolving conflicts, and understanding attraction. We also discussed tips for meeting new people, navigating the dating scene, and speaking the love language of our partners and loved ones. By applying the strategies and insights shared in this podcast, we can cultivate stronger, more fulfilling relationships in our personal and professional lives. Remember, relationships take effort and investment but they can also bring great joy and satisfaction.